The purpose of this video is just to demonstrate how to configure the remote control for both Genium and X2 using XSoft programming software from Autobock Healthcare. Simply click on the My Modes tab at the top of the screen and the Selection tab will open up. From this screen you can just order the modes as you want them to appear on the remote control. Once each mode is selected, an individual tab representing that mode will appear as a sub tab underneath the main toolbar. You can also customize the individual modes by simply clicking on the tabs that represent those modes. For example here, the first mode that we selected was cross-country skiing. If we go into that tab, we can change the name of this, say, to downhill skiing, and we can set both a basis and a gain for that mode. Now the basis is just the position of the flexion valve when the knee is in full extension. With the basis set midway, as in this example, the flexion valve is halfway closed. The gain is how fast the flexion valve closes from the basis starting point. So in this example, initially the user would feel half the resistance available from that valve. And since the gain is set to minimum, the valve will never close from that initial starting point. And indeed, at the bottom of the screen, it says in bold letters, the device will not block when using these parameters. However, as we raise the gain, a blocking angle will be indicated. In this example, a blocking angle of 19 degrees is indicated. And as we continue to raise the gain, less range of motion will be available in the knee due to a faster speed of closure in the flexion valve from the initial starting point. Once each individual mode is customized to the user's preference, you have to go back to the selection tab. It's going to put the knee back into first mode and you can rename the device from this screen. In this example I changed the name to Genium from the default OB1 setting and you have to transfer the remote package to the knee by hitting configure the remote control. You then have to exit the XSoft programming software before hitting the center button and down arrow on the remote to turn on the remote for the first time. So again now that the knee has been configured I'm going to close the software. I'm not going to save the job. XSoft will close out and now I can turn on the remote for the first time by hitting first the center button then the down arrow on the remote. So center button turns it on, down arrow. Now the remote file is being transferred from the knee to the remote. 